Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Chavez here with Fanjoy.com. We uh, have just left Motorola's event here in Chicago uh, where they unveiled the Moto G, the Moto X, and the Moto 360. Uh, but right now we're going to kind of focus on this guy right here, the Moto X, and just give you guys a quick unboxing and a uh, quick overview of some of the specs. So let's just go ahead and open this sucker up. Now this is the Verizon 4G model. Uh, you'll be able to customize this through Moto Maker with a variety of uh, different texture, you know, battery covers like they had back in the day um, with the previous version. I guess it's not a battery cover, it's just a back cover, but um, this model here, the Verizon one, since this is just, you know, comes to you straight from the Verizon store, it's going to be pre-configured. This one uh, comes with the black ring uh, accent color around there, and it's got a textured soft touch black back finish here. Um, and normally these are color colored as well. These are the front facing, well this is a front facing speaker and here it's black too so um, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of boot that up and while that's getting a go we're going to take a look at what else is in the box. Here is just some of the documentation. Let's just see if we can't get this, if we can't, there, there we go. And um, you can see it's probably nothing too special just some uh, Verizon information and some quick get to know your Moto X. Uh, this is a wall charger, USB cable. This charges out, uh, it's actually dual, and charges out at 1.1 milliamps, so a little over one amp. And then you have your uh, SIM removal tool there. And that's pretty much it, that's all there is to it. Pretty straightforward. And uh, this is the Moto X. Let me go ahead and peel off this. So satisfying. Uh, now, this model, or I mean, I guess the new Moto X, as it's being called, has a 5.2-inch AMOLED display. It's full 1080p versus the 4.7-inch uh, 720p of the previous model. It's pretty nice. You can see here. Uh, bezels have been kept relatively small. Um, you know, true to fashion, this is how the previous Motorola uh, Moto X was and one of our, our favorite features. Um, going over some of the quick specs, I guess, there's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor inside. So not the 800 that was originally rumored um, and that comes with a uh, Adreno 330 GPU clocked at 578 megahertz. Uh, on the back you have a 13 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, but they're around this little uh, nifty, kind of strange, different um, I guess it's just a ring around the camera there, um, but it's supposed to add for like a better, fuller light um, when you're taking pictures and whatnot. Um, overall, the phone is a little bit thinner than the previous model. This one only comes in at uh, 3.8 millimeters at this very small little edge here. You can see along the sides. Uh, previously, the, the previous Moto X was 5.7 at its smallest point, and then it got up to 10.4. This one's only 9.9 .9 millimeters thin. So a little bit thinner. Um, overall, the, it's a little bit bigger and wider, of course. It's 72 millimeter, 72.4 millimeters wide, and it has a height of 140.8. Um, and uh, I guess we just go, there's a couple more microphones on this model. Uh, the previous Moto X, which was able to, you know, uh, has those voice actions that made it so famous. This one actually has four mics. The previous one only had three. Uh, along the sides here, you can see there is an aluminum frame, so it's it's uh, pretty nice. It gives it a very, very sturdy feel, and uh, Motorola actually optimized the antennas in here. It's supposed to supply for, I mean, about two times, they said about two times better reception in some cases, and it uses these little antenna brakes there. Uh, on the inside, you have a 2,300 milliamp hour battery. It's really not as big as, say, some of these other new flagship phones that we're seeing these days, but it is a slight increase uh, from the previous model, which was 2,200 milliamps. And on the front here, it has these IR sensors, which you can't really see on the black model, but on, you know, like the white uh, front, you can kind of see the little glare there. The white model, they're a little more apparent it's here, here, and here. And what it allows is for an additional uh, action. So you can see here the display lights up just by um, whenever you get your, your hand kind of close to the display. Without even touching it, it'll just go ahead and go on, which is pretty darn neat. Um, one of the unique and really cool features about the new Moto X is the fact that it can be charged. Um, it can give you 
15 minute charging for eight hours of talk time or extra battery life, which is pretty insane. Um, and that's utilizing this, I guess, turbo charger that they're going to be selling separately. Um, again, 15 minutes of charging and you'll have a bonus eight extra hours of battery life. That's absolutely insane. Um, there's just, you know, there's a whole lot to love about this phone. Uh, tons of new features. The voice uh, voice actions can now actually be customized, so there's no longer just OK Google now. Now they can be customized to whatever the heck you want. It can be OK Jarvis. It can be, you know, hey there, sweet cheeks. It's it's whatever you want, and that's pretty darn awesome. Um, but of course, we're going to do you know go more in depth with the phone uh, later. But this is just I guess a quick overview of some of the specs. What about the? So this isn't the leatherback, but that's one interesting. Yep, uh, I guess Moto Maker is going to have, Moto Maker is where you can customize the phone uh, through Motorola's website, and they're going to have uh, three leather backs, so unique to the all new Moto X, and it's like a gray, brown, and kind of a lighter tan version, but this is just a soft touch. What's your favorite of those? Plastic. Uh, favorite would probably be the leather, um, but it's going to, you know, come in a variety of other colors as well, but um, I'm thinking like maybe the black leather, but I mean, this soft touch is actually pretty nice as well. Um, I'm a little undecided. I'm hoping they come out with an aluminum version eventually, but. I feel like the curves in it, uh, the accentuated curve thinness and thickness makes it feel really good in your hand. It like kind of curves with the palm of your hand a bit when you're, when you're holding oh, it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I, was, I was pretty impressed with that. I kind of don't like the fact that it has thinner sides simply because I like to have something to hold on to a little bit better. Um, also, it's not a stereo front-facing speaker like you've seen on the HTC One. This is actually just an earpiece speaker, and the back speaker has just been moved to the front here. Uh, on the Moto G, which is actually the uh, less expensive version or the, the mid, mid-range mid version of the Motorola uh, lineup, it has stereo front-facing speakers, which is kind of interesting and neat. But And you say less expensive, but really, this is it's still just going to be $99 uh, on contract. $99 on contract. $499? $500 straight up, and um, Motorola also mentioned that there's going to be a uh, unlocked bootloader version that's going to be offered up on... And right on Motomaker. On Motomaker. So it's not so. like a standard that you can choose whatever you want, most likely, with all the backs and stuff. So oh yeah, so you'll be able to customize it, unlock bootloader, so they really listen to consumers this time around with this, and, it, and I feel like they've kind of addressed every kind of pain point that was... Um, people had with the original model and oh, also on the I actually really like the point there the how he was saying it centers on there like if you just as like a nice reference point oh yeah when you hold the phone it's pretty nice because you can kind of just I don't know it gives you that nice little it's like the small of a woman's back you just put your finger there and rest <laughs> oh, it wow feels feels great love it but yeah so that's just a, I guess a quick look at the all new Moto X it's not the Moto X plus one or Moto X two it's just the new Moto X 2014 I guess you can call it. Uh, for more, don't forget to check out Fandra.com where we'll go more in depth in reviews and check out the camera and all these other features uh, in later posts. So with that, I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.